What's up, everybody? Back with another reaction video. In this video, we're reacting to Chainsaw Man episode 12. It's the finale. It's the last one for now because I think they split the season in half in actuality and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I get it, though, because if you look at the production level that apparently some fans have a petition for, then you can see why they did it that way to probably keep the same production up and not overwork anybody if they even care about that, to be honest with you. Um... Uh, we last left off with the raid on the building uh, where Special Division 4 is going in and the goal is to retrieve Snake Woman and Sword Man. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Snake Woman and Sword Man. And we got introduced to some new fiends. Uh, we got the Shark Fiend. Crazy looking boy. That, that head to like a regular neck ratio to body is crazy. Then you got the violence fiend just giving out straight hands. You got to take him poison so he can be nerfed. You got the spider devil. You're not going to have to talk about it. She, she cool though. She a cool look. Angel. You got the angel devil who's dope. Um, I like the concept of her. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for the team. Yeah, I think that's it for the team. And then uh, you got, you know, you got Aki and everybody there. Aki's in a situation with Snake Woman right now getting choked out. Don't know how this is going to happen. But I know he's not going to die because there's no way this was the epic death that the future guy would, talk, would be telling him about or like be wanting to see, you know. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how this last one goes. What's the goal? What we find out before they leave us on a massive cliffhanger and leave us hanging to dry. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, hope, hope, I, I, think, I know it'll be good. I don't even need to worry. I know it'll be good. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate you all. I love you all as long as I can. Let's get into it. Ah, uh, yeah. Just wrapped around them. I assume, oh, boy passed out. Oh, fly. life flashed before his eyes. Baby girl. Oh my God, so pretty. Oh my goodness, this angle makes it better. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, bro. Why is she so, mm. Hey, yo. There ain't no way. Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. Wow. Wow. Mm.
crazy opening. Oh my god, bro. I have so many questions. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. <laughs> That's funny. So bonuses are coming up soon, so <laughs> That's hella real though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh yeah. These two are a mess, bro. <laughs> Ugh. Give me the creeps. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> These I can defeat. <laughs> Especially because she ran away from the dude she's trying to get right now. <laughs> Said, uh, she's definitely insecure about running away. <laughs> He's not even there. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to just keep going up, dog. Boy, <laughs> 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 said, found you. <laughs> I was about to pull it. Honestly, I wouldn't trust him. Just like uh just like the teacher was saying. Besides the fact that your grandpa was taking advantage of me like my whole life, they they definitely turned into the zombies. Well, they're not, they're no longer alive, bro. So. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of crazy to, to think about. That's like, I mean, that's stupid, but like. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Did you just take your hand off? You gotta, you gotta pick a way to do that, bro. That is, like, that's cool, but like, also, don't ever do that to, again. Then you gotta win this time. You can't be talking like this and not win. Ali. Bro, my building. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Cause it's like it's like it's like fighting with your fist, but you still gotta like do it differently. God damn. 
damn. Oh, uh, uh, he fight he anime fighting game staged you. <laughs> Bro, he, he he really he, he really pressed a hard punch to get you to a new location. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if you don't go fight Jack the Skeleton any already, Jack the Skeleton. That's exactly it, because he's not even the real one. He just kind of looked like him before he lost all his skin. You know what I'm talking about. It's not like he don't. You know how hard it is to actually fight, like, on a moving, like, vehicle, let alone a train? Oh, my God. I'm glad they dipped. <laughs> Immediately. Oh, my goodness. It broke an envir environmental assist. Ah. There go your arm. You got to reattach that. <laughs> Can we ban that move seriously? <laughs> I hate this dude so much. Bro, really got personal beef. <laughs> like, you really mad that he killed your grandpa who was abusing him? <laughs> oh, bro said, <laughs> so no head? Let's go. Bro, bro, this is insane. Why would he teach me that? <laughs> he just used me. Oh, wow. <laughs> bro. Bro, hit him with the fakies. The 2020 fakie. Oh, shit. And he was really paying attention to them lessons, too, which makes it funny. <laughs> All right, they need him alive. Not on the train tracks in your undies, your garments. <laughs> he talks so much shit, bro. <laughs> I don't think you know what they're going to do to him. <laughs> what is this? What is this dude thinking? <laughs> ain't, ain't no way.
<laughs> Fire pig, bro. I, I just so many ah, uh, so many thumbnail options. Ooh, that's fire too. I'm not gonna hold you, boy. <laughs> Bro, just kill me. Just kill me. Yo, just kill me. Nah, bro, just kill me. Don't even, don't, you don't even gotta take me in no more, bro. <laughs> that is crazy. That's hella angelic. <laughs> fire way to put that <laughs> wow all right here's the bullshit mm-hmm all they all about to die <clears throat> Oh. Mm. Damn, that's actually a good amount. Wow. I don't like that. I don't like that look. Look at these three. <laughs> Literally children. <laughs> this dude got two years left to live, bro. That is crazy. The grippers? I feel like, the, okay. Honestly, I think this one is my favorite just because of what's going on in it. Alright. Yeah, bro, it's that time. So, please don't tell me no fuck shit about to happen, bro. Look at my boy. This shit feels so ominous, bro.
It's like I'm just waiting for the ball to, to drop. Ain't this his little slums? Oh, isn't this how the first episode started? Still breathing heavy, huh? For why? Mm. That was... That was the book. That, um, that, that Aki's parents are reading to the, to the little brother. I gotta see, I, I wanna look up what that book is about. You know what, give me a second. Is it better to live in in the poverty than it is to live with the worries of what? So if we, okay, all right, all right, boys, you know what? I'm adding dissection to the title, right? Because I felt like we got a lot in that last little bit. So Aki, so we found the gun, uh, uh, 1.4 kilograms of gun devil flesh is starting to move towards the body. We don't know where it's moving, but she seems like it's something weird is happening. Then you have Aki who he's smoking and they showed that the easy part is going away and now it's the revenge part that that's that was left before they cut away from him. And then you see the shape of the smoke and everything too. So it's like now this is the this is the easy part of I guess the series this is the easy part of the mission this is the easy part of of getting going against the gun devil and everything now this is where the revenge comes in to get back at the gun devil at least that's what I think and then you have Pochita who apparently in this dream which I think it's a dream and not a dream because I think he's this in his dream is the only way he can get to Pochita. Um, but I think uh, Pochita's actually talking to him in his dream. It's not just like a figment of his imagination. Like most dreams, depending on what you believe in and all that other stuff, we can get into that some other time. But it's interesting because. It seems like, and, and I'm putting this together because the gun devil wants Pochita for some reason. He wants Denji's heart. Doesn't care about Denji. There's no personal beef with Denji, but it's a personal beef with Pochita. So either Pochita's a piece of the gun devil or they had a fight. And I'm assuming Pochita was a different form, got shot by the gun devil, was down on his luck and then found Denji because he had the two bullet wounds in his stomach. And I think some reactors mentioned, like, <clears throat> it's crazy that <clears throat> it's still alive. 
with those bullets in it, right? And it's dying as well. I think, like, so, I think behind that door is Pachita's true form. Or, I guess, the, yeah, no, true form. Like, how it it was <clears throat> before whatever happened to it. And for some reason, it doesn't want Denji to see either that or it's connected to the gun devil and if he opens that door he gets a direct connection to the gun devil I, I i think that's i think that's what that is and i don't know who that woman is who was at the end i'm actually gonna bring it back you don't usually get the devil on youtube you feel me but i'm gonna bring it back and kind of react to it again because I recognize the book and, and looking it up and and that's what I'm about to get into. I just want to make sure that I see anything. So I have no idea who that is. I don't recognize the hair. I don't think I've seen her before. Apparently she knows... Denji, I don't know if it's personal or or not, but the reason I wanted to, to look up the book about, you know, Country Mouse and City Mouse is because tying in with what I said before about Pochita and uh, Aki smoking a cigarette and this, the easy going away, but the... The Revenge not being smoked yet. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. Um, it seems like it, the last episode, <clears throat> in those last couple of seconds, we're raising the question, <clears throat> would it have been better to just stay in the little piece of crap, terrible, miserable life that you had because you knew it, it was quote unquote comfortable, even though it sucked and you'd rather die in it pretty much for uh, Denji's sake. Would that have been better? Or it would is that better than what you're about to face? Because right, as far as we've seen, he's only been in... Uh, he's only been in... Like, good, good things. Like, there's been some bad moments. But for the most part, he gets to eat his jelly. He gets to uh, have his fun. He gets to not care. And he gets to, you know, talk to Makima and get all these things and kisses and all this other stuff and experience, right? But now that the gun devil is actively going after them and they're about to actively go after the gun devil, we don't, and we still don't know what Makima is playing, I think it's trying to pose the question of, like, hey... It's about to it's about to not be so fun. And I think it's also telling the audience that. Now, all of this could be bullshit. All of this could be terrible. All of this could be, like, nowhere where they're going. But it's it's a theory. <laughs> you feel me? It's a theory. <clears throat> and you don't have to tell me in the comments. I'm not going to listen anyway. <laughs> no spoilers. I'll put that earlier anyways. But... <clears throat> I think it's trying to tell the audience as well. Like, it ain't going to be sweet when we come back. There's going to be more heartache, more craziness. And I think Denji's life is about to turn crazy. I'm really interested to see who that woman is that was talking. And what's going on. Because there's a lot happening. Um, as far as the uh, episode goes, now that we're reviewing the episode... Uh, well, I've been, I've been reviewing the episode, but that last part just was really interesting to me. Um, it was beautiful what they did to that man. Uh, I love that Aki got to give some, you know, revenge for him and all. I'm glad that Denji cared enough to see that there was a problem. Even if the reasoning wasn't necessarily she was my friend or whatever. It was just like, you killed her, how could you? I'm going to get back at you. And that was dope to see, seeing them have a little bonding moment. Um, yeah, honestly, I think my favorite part about this 
episode wasn't even necessarily the fight because that was dope. But it was the the in betweens and the implications that that went along with it, and seeing how we got here on episode twelve, you know, trying to make this a special one. You feel me? Um, that is, is dope, man, and it's it's nice to see that he cares about her a lot, Aki. Like it's kind of con- not confirmed. Like I think um, he liked Himeno. I admired Makuma. Or something like that. I don't know. Obviously, the anime will let me know, you know. But it's interesting to see that he's like, I'll be with you soon and everything. I thought that was sweet. I miss her. She's so beautiful. She's so nice. I'm glad we got to get that scene of her fully in context. That she didn't even really force him to smoke that time. <laughs> uh, that was nice. Uh, uh, beautiful anime. Dope throughout. Uh, I'd give it. A nine out of ten. That's just because it's not. It's ending, and it shouldn't be. Uh, at least for now, it is. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate you all. I love you all as long as I can. Next week we will be on to something else, and I hope you enjoy what it is. See you next time.